everybody, it's Julie, and I have a quick haul from today. Um, I went to Dollar Tree and I got the 15 items to do my um, junk journal that I'm going to make that is part of a challenge with I'm a Cool Mom. And I will put the link to her video below that explains about the challenge in case you'd like to join. Um, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to make a junk journal using items from the Dollar Tree under $15. So I picked I picked 15 items at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then this is the other stuff that I got. So that's a separate video um, that you'll get to see because it's all about that challenge. And um, so while I was at the Dollar Tree, and it was a brand new one. It just opened. As a matter of fact, it's grand opening with the mayor and everybody was this morning. And although we missed it, um, we did uh, get to go and look and find some awesome things. So one of the things I picked up was this sparkle. They're calling it sparkle mesh. And it is for Halloween. And it had, I just think it's really cool. It has spider webs, gold spider webs. So I picked up that. I have um, some Halloween stuff I'm working on. I did pick up some gold glitter, and this may end up replacing one of the items in my $15 because I wasn't able to find any glitter glue that I liked. So I thought, well, I'll get this gold glitter nail polish and use that. Um, they had these two books, Hope and Joy, it, all around us, and it has quotes um, from the Bible that I thought I could use in my prayer journals. I think there's a lot of great ones. And then having the illustrations as well are awesome. I especially love this one, Living by Grace. I may actually take this and this cover may become um, something for me because I, I love this. Um, I just I love the picture and I totally think that's an amazing phrase. Okay, so here is another picture of it, and then this one also is filled with, this one also, ha it doesn't just have um, Bible quotes, it also has quotes from people. God's riches at Christ's expense, grace. I love that. So, um, I just think these will be beautiful in my prayer journals so and they, these were the only two that they had I also picked up this hummingbird uh, cards thank you notes you get eight for a dollar <laughs> so that was awesome and then I thought these were really fun and this one fell off but it is in there so it had all these buttons um, this was the only one that they had, and so it possibly, um, either they were already out of them, or, or something, or, you know, it's possible because it's a brand new store, it might have been like in a box from another store, and it, they only got a couple. Um, this book about bugs is actually going to go to my grandson, that is wants to be an entomologist and I thought this was awesome so that will be going to William they had these two sticker sheets and I I really like them I'm gonna use them these are gonna be for myself um, I actually had hollyhocks this year and they were purple more than pink but um i i love these i love the bicycle i love the bench and the window and just the the rain boots with the flowers in them i loved it all 
so um, yeah so this will be for my own personal use I did purchase the yellow paper for the 15 items but I took it out and added the sequin um, st the sequin trim that you'll see on the video um, so this may end up back in there and something else may come out but um, I got this for my junk journals and my smash books we needed aluminum foil at home I needed it for two reasons I actually use this aluminum foil for uh, when I'm uh, baking my paper so um, because I can have them already ready and just I can put my papers on pieces, long pieces of foil and have them ready for the next one that comes out and put them, putting them on the, um, on the cookie sheets that go into the oven. So this is a sink mat and I got it to try and see if I can get some cool looks with the coffee paper, coffee dyed paper. Because I know with the, the one that I have that has the the holes in it I get polka dotted paper and I thought it might be kind of fun to see if I could get like this lattice paper so that was Dollar Tree and like I said it goes along with the 15 from the <laughs> I can't even think um, for the challenge okay so next I went to Hobby Lobby because it's right next door. I couldn't resist. And I got a Christmas present for my mom. And it's, um, it's called Floral Accents. And I think it's amazing. My mom will love it. She has artificial. She loves succulents. She has millions of real ones. But in her entryway, it's not sunny enough. So she has been collecting the silk and or plastic ones and I really like this one so this will go along with some of the other awesome things that I have found for her entryway and I will come up with some clever way of putting it together my mom is she has blue glass like glass bottles and things and I found some big marbles they're like this big big bubbles and um, in the dark cobalt blue and so that will be along with that for her present. Let's see, in here, I fall was on sale. And so I got a couple of the metal picks. I love, instead of buying flowers, I've been buying metal flowers for my yard. I have a spearmint that grows in the front thing and then I use artificial plants and artificial flowers and to decorate but I've been picking up the metal because they don't die and these were 40% off so they were $1.20 each and they're really cute with the bling okay I picked up this in the Christmas section it was $2.99 50% off so $1.50 and I thought I'm going to try, and I thought I would be able to use this in my tassels. I thought it would be really pretty. It sure looks cool and sparkly, just hanging like upside down like a firework. So we'll see if it works. I'll be going, I will have to get more because I think it's amazing. Oh my gosh. This Heidi Swap planner pad was a dollar too. So 24 pages, um, clearance was $2.99. So since the new Dollar Tree didn't really have any note paper pads, um, I love this because it's two-sided and I will be able to use that. I can cut the black off if I don't want it, if that's not going to go along with the theme of my book. Um, can fold them and make a note card can fold them this way and have a side um, one of the ones that open up and you're able to write on 
the, this side and oh, I'll show you. So this was going to go onto the, the side border of a book. You line it up on the page and then you also open out and you're able to write inside. So it's like a, a secret tuck. So I was excited to get those. Okay, what do we... Aha! The Tim Holtz! Yay! Look at vintage photo. It has, every time I've gone to get it, it has been gone. <laughs> As a matter of fact, today I had to look and I found it in with the walnut. So, um, I don't want anything walnut. I'm allergic to walnuts. <laughs> So, I don't even want walnuts like this. So, anyway, I got, it's the Distress Oxide, so we'll try that. But I'm excited because it is vintage photo. But we will put that right there. I got some of the hitch fasteners. And I wanted to try these on my books. Um, you are supposed to be able to put this on the cover and then uh, use a hair tie to, to close your book or an elastic um, band. So we will be trying that. I'm excited to finally have found the loop pens to be able to put the little bells and things on my books and my projects. So those were the Tim Holtz. Metal goes down here. And then I got, I used my coupon and got this, um, Happy Haunting from the Paper Studio. See, when I went to the grand opening, I didn't even really go to the fall. And, um, I went a little bit in the, the Christmas area that I didn't even, so I hadn't even gotten to see the Halloween stuff. And I did, I do already have the cover for a Halloween junk journal made, or an October daily. And so this is the pages. It's single sided, a little bit more on the spooky side, but it will go along with the cover that I've made really well. So this one's called Happy Haunting and I had a 40% off coupon. Um, I had trouble though. I get up to the register with my coupon from the app and it doesn't work. So does anybody else have that trouble? And, or has anybody had that happen? So I went ahead and I picked these up. These were actually in the pirate party section and for 99 cents, I got two sheets of 12 stickers, and I will be able to use those in my book. And then I got this, and this was fall, and fall was, I think, 40% off. I'm not positive, but um, this was exciting because these look like the pumpkins that are on the cover of the book that I've already started and this was amazing in the remnant clearance actually in the clearance section is where they have the remnants but look at this adorable classic who not classic but it's poo it's poo so a few different scenes I love it Here's Eeyore here. Here he is here. Pooh's getting tickled. They're all trying to hold <laughs> Piglet from flying away. Or the kite from flying away. And oh, I just, I, for $1.97, um, it's 45 inches wide. It's 17 inches this way. And I actually asked him if I could open it to make sure that I was going to be, you know, if it was a bigger print, then it, it's not going to work. But this, you know, these can make pockets. They'll make tags. Um, 
I can actually do the sewn pockets instead of deck posh. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so next um, we have some Christmas. So I've added, I like these. I like that they are, they're very, di they're different from any of the others that I have, but they're still so old fashioned. And I love them. I think they're going to be really, really nice. Um, using different words than, than um, just Merry Christmas, which is kind of nice too. Um, a happy Christmas with the birds. So these I'm going to be able to use. I'll use these to make embellishments. So you get 18 vintage card stickers. And Christmas, I think, was 40% off. So 40% of $249. Um, I thought these were really fun. I am going to be seeing what I can do with these. I, you know, I do paper crafting, but I also make things and um, have sell them a variety of different ways. So I'm going to see what I can do with those. They were mirrored Christmas words. You get 10 pieces, so that's including the stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they're counting the N and the M. That's that's cheating. But okay. <laughs> uh, penguins, you can never have enough too enough or too many penguins. And this one is really cute. There's some flat ones and some fluffy ones. So the flat ones are the ones that are backed with silver around them. And then these ones are a little bit puffy. Just a little bit. So um, I have well, my sister collected penguins. We don't call them penguins in our families. They are penga ducks. And um, one of the grandkids started that. One of my, my children, who are now in their 30s. And um, so penguins are very near and dear to our hearts. And I didn't mean to get them. But when they were in my sack, I was like, it's kind of funny. It was kind of like her saying hey hi you know from up in heaven so uh so penguin ducks and then they had these they, these were a dollar 99 right up my alley with the vintage but especially here's a cardinal here and a cardinal here and i think i'm going to be making a personal book that is traditions of my family and um, family memories. So memories of Christmas memories of my family and traditions. And I collect cardinals and I have been collecting stickers and papers and napkins and all kinds of cardinal stuff. So, and that's what I want to do with it. So um, I bought two of them because I thought they were adorable. And these were 50% off and I could not resist. Carolyn actually found these. It's tag and sack. So you get 10 of them and there's these little tiny foiled sacks with a little tiny tag in them. And I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try embossing them with an embossing folder. We'll try a variety of different ways. But I also got some gold medallions and some gold envelope seals. Um, at the Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using in my projects. So whatever I do, they'll, it'll kind of be cohesive with all of the gold. So that is an empty bag. <laughs> that is Hobby Lobby. And then I still didn't have glue. <laughs> Which is when we went, went to Hobby Lobby for they don't carry the aqua tombo glue or there's no there's not even a place for it there so i'm assuming they don't carry it so um so we went to michael's and this is the first time i've been there since they put out the new um hot buys but they had them for five dollars and so i went ahead and got this um this autumn one and i might not have needed any autumn or fall but um, this way I can already go ahead and start. 
I'm going to be doing 30 days of Thanksgiving or thankfulness. And um, so I really, I like these. I liked that they're very fall as I say that and there's gold dots, but I love this paper. Oh, love that. And I was still looking, Carolyn got a really cool paper pad that had gold accents and the, the flowers were like lavender roses. Absolutely beautiful, but I couldn't find one. <laughs> of course. So along the fall theme, I got this with my coupon. And I've been doing a lot of stenciling in my books because of the backs of a lot of the paper are white. And to not add more thickness, um, I have gone ahead and gone to stenciling. Now, I have a thing for squirrels. <laughs> I really, I don't particularly <laughs> like the ones that live in my yard, but um, I, I think they're funny. The movie Up, when the dog, um, whenever he sees a squirrel or someone says squirrel and he's, ah, that's totally me. I have that, but I have it with anything that flies. Something's flying, I, I totally lose all concentration and have to look. So I thought these were really awesome for, for woodland animals. I think I can be able to dress them up and use them at, for Christmas. I still haven't <laughs> documented when we went to Alaska. So the moose I can use for that and I think he's just absolutely adorable. So. I think that'll be great. So this was Martha Stewart. And it, look at this. Isn't that cute? The little wooden bowl with the white bunny and a little bit of the greens. Just adorable. Okay, there's still more in here. I did get the glue. And so I got two. Okay, um, in their dollar spot they had these ribbons and I needed a couple of ribbons to go in my Halloween tassels, so that is for that. They had the green tag jewelry, or yeah, beads, green tags were 50% or 70% off. So that made them a dollar eighty. So I got butterflies, these blue hearts, and these jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, I got this raven stamp. I don't know if I already have it, but because I used the raven on the cover of the Halloween books, um, the napkin that I had have, I figured I better have him. And if I already have him, then he'll go on the giveaway. <laughs> Um, I purchased this. I think it's kind of cool because it's by Recollections and it had stencils with it. So those will be, be fun to use. I love this tree. It reminds me of trees when I was, the, the oak trees. And actually, it looks like the trees, a lot of our trees in at the property look like that because there was a fire. So eat, drink, and be scary. Beware. Here's another scary house. I think it's the right size to go along with that fence that I got that is um, a die. Um, I like the owl. So I think that'll be, be awesome. I got these words. Since they were 40% off, I decided that um, I would get the stamps this time instead of buying the stickers this year. So it has a lot of the, 
the Halloween words. I still have stickers left over from last year. So it's all going to be great. Now, let's see. This is the one I bought the other day. And cool. The house, like you could have a, you could have a whole street of houses. <laughs> Haunted houses. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay. So I did also, I wanted, and there's another haunted house. Um, <laughs> the other day I really wanted this one, but I, I absolutely love that. I love this moon. And, um, so I was like, I, I have to have it because of that. And so I got that. And then... I got this one, which I think is going to be a lot of fun to use. I'm like I told you before, I'm really enjoying these um, these penciled penciled stamps. So, and then Carolyn was nice enough to go through the line, and with her coupon, she got me this. So. Um, fly away life itself is a wonderful adventure love the birds some more feathers this is amazing with the bird and this this I'll be able to use in the Halloween and um, so yeah so that is I'm gonna check yep that's everything that's everything so I'm done for a while um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up what was your favorite thing that I got? What did what have you found that has just been awesome when you've been out and about? Are you doing any Halloween paper crafting? Are you already doing fall? Are you already doing Christmas? Have you tried this glue? <laughs> I would love to know. Find something to celebrate every day. And don't forget our giveaway is coming up. And the way that you are entered into the giveaway is by commenting. Um, you no longer have to be a subscriber, just comment. Um, I want subscribers on my channel because they want to be there. And not just to sign up for a giveaway. Plus it's really complicated. Some people don't want to do the privacy thing. To, so that's, that is fine. So we're going to do it strictly with comments. And... Um, so please answer the questions that I ask or uh, tell me about the weather in your area. We just had sprinkles three times in a row during Hummingbird Happy Hour. <laughs> and um, yeah, so also be watching for the challenge the, from I'm a Cool Mom. Again, I will post her information down below with the link to the video about her challenge. And I will be posting my progress of making basically my whole entire book from things that I purchased on that one trip to Dollar Tree. Except for the glue, the scissors, and that, that kind of stuff. So I hope you're having a great day. Again, find something to celebrate every day. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.